Hello and welcome to this teeny tiny episode of Product of the Week. I'm your host and maker, Robin Mitchell. In this episode, we will be looking at, thank you, Richard, the LP MSP MOC 1104. No, I'm not calling it that. Okay, instead, let's go for the super awesome, amazing TI launchpad that lets you prototype with TI's latest range of exciting, low power, low cost microcontroller, the MSP M0C1104. The super awesome, amazing Texas Instrument Launchpad, the LP MSP M0C1104, is a development board that contains everything you need to get started with the TI MSP M0C1104, including a programmer, debugger, power, connectivity, GPIO, and much, much more. Now, to be clear, this big black IC may look like the super awesome IC, but in reality, it's actually this tiny chip right here, U1. That other IC is what provides programmability and debugging. So don't panic if using this chip in a real design, it's going to be so small. Now, there is no denying that this dev kit is awesome, containing all the parts needed to get the main MCU working. But what makes this kit truly awesome is that the MCU in question is not only extremely low power, but very low cost. What this means is that if you are looking to integrate a microcontroller into a project and need to do this over thousands and thousands of products, then you will be hard pressed to find an MCU that can meet the cost and footprint requirements that this one can. Oh, I should mention at this point that it's an ARM Cortex M0 Plus MCU, and there's also an adorable little space rocket on the back that shows that whoever designed this board really cared about their product. Starting with a teeny tiny micro, the MSP M0C1104 integrates an ARM Cortex M0 Plus clocked at 24 megahertz with 16 kilobytes of flash and one kilobyte of RAM. Now, you may be thinking that's somewhat small, but remember, this MCU is designed for low power, low cost applications. In fact, let's look up the price. So grab my phone, go on the TI website, have a quick look there. I've got the pricing right here. Oh, and here we go. So for a quantity of 1000 parts in a reel, that's 18 cents per chip. And remember, this is a quality piece of silicon manufactured by an American company who has decades of proven devices. So for 18 cents a piece when used in a commercial product, sounds like an absolute no brainer. In fact, if you go for its smaller cousin, the 103, you get eight kilobytes of flash, but you only pay 16 cents a chip. Now for a mere 18 cents, not the development board, but the MCU itself, you are also getting a 12-bit ADC at 1.5 megabits per second, around 87 microamps per megahertz of operation, a shutdown current of 200 nanoamps, multiple timers, many PWM channels, UART, I2C, SPI, internal clock source, CRC, and even two 5-volt tolerant open drain IOs. Take all of that in, and ask yourself where you can find such specs in a microcontroller at that price. The launch pad contains a debugger and programmer so that you can plug this straight into a computer and get cracking with coding, while a host of jumpers allow for numerous configurations to be set. The inclusion of a button and LED lets you quickly test I.O. and the integration of 20 pin booster pack headers allow for use with additional expansion boards. Finally, it uses a micro USB cable, so you can use the same cables that you would typically use with many other development platforms. When it comes to using this launch pad in projects, there are a few ideas that immediately come to mind. The first and probably most important is that you can use this board to test the MSP M0C1104 to see if it will work in a specific application. The low price of this dev board combined with the low cost and low power nature of the MCU means that you can make your potential commercial ideas more affordable and consume less power. So if you are considering taking something to market, give the MSP M0C1104 some consideration because I certainly know that I already am. The second project idea that I think that could work very well with this dev kit is a miniaturized motor controller. While the MCU itself can't drive a motor, 
its impressive ADC combined with low cost and low power nature would make it an excellent choice as a motor controller. If combined with a driver such as a H-Bridge, this MCU could use its PDBM channels to control motor speed, use its ADC to measure motor current, and potentially even provide accurate positioning with closed loop feedback. Finally, this dev kit would also be great in a real-time sensor device that needs to integrate some degree of intelligence or processing. For example, a thermistor can be used to measure temperature, but they often need calibration. Instead of trying to incorporate this into a design, the thermistor could be combined with an MCU to create an I2C-enabled thermistor whose characteristics are integrated into the MCU. This also means that the chip could be used in any interface, whether it's acting as a bridge, a level shifter, or in a modular design. The Texas Instrument Launchpad dev board for the MSP M0C1104 is truly an exciting piece of kit, and the extremely low power and low cost nature of this MCU presents plenty of new opportunities for engineers looking to take their projects further, potentially into the commercial space. If you like what we do here at Electromaker and want to show your support, then like this video, sub to our channel, and show off that wad of cash in the Electromaker store where we will make you poorer so you can have more fun in electronics, including this launchpad kit. This is Robin Mitchell, signing off. <laughs>